Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have a Ghost of Antietam event for you. The first map here is High Street, followed up by our second map, Rivers Crossing here. Thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you'd like to support, go to the link in the description where you can get live streams of all the broadcasts we do. On top of that, you can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of events with no UI and commentary. So we're on the battlefield, 260 man server here. Uh, about a seven-man imbalance in favor of Union, but CSA has about 15 dudes on artillery. So the imbalance more like 22. We got a new mouse, uh, mouse and we got a new uh, headset as well. So obviously we'll be finicking with that as time goes on. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. But regardless of that, they start at the 42-minute mark. That's why we're a little late going into this. But here we go. I forgot to introduce the regiments. Uh... Let's briefly do that. So the teams for today, uh, on the CSA side, we got 7th South Carolina, 7th Louisiana, 20th Georgia, 1st South Carolina, Ores Rifles, Palmetto Battery, and Sharpshooters, 3rd United States Force Artillery, 2nd United States Sharpshooters, 1st Ohio, and Archer's Brigade, which has 14th Tennessee, 19th Georgia, 7th Tennessee, 5th Alabama, 1st Louisiana Battalion, and 1st South Carolina. On the Union side, we got V Corps, 5th Corps, which has 14th Indiana, 1st Maryland, 8th Connecticut, and 65th Illinois. You have the IVB and 4th New Jersey as well. Sorry for getting those a little late, but here we go. Downtown on the map. So, the Union uh, historically defend this stone wall back here because the point of contention is in the middle of this road, and it's a very hard map for Union to win, but Union's kind of playing this really aggressive right now. We got uh, the 1st Maryland part of 5th Corps up on this uh, left side here with uh, more 5th Corps, 8th Connecticut, IVB to their right, being very close here in their engagement of the other team. You have 4th New Jersey kind of holding back for the Union. Not really any Union, Union holding further back. Confederates starting to shift around this front. You got 20th Georgia. Remember, they don't have a steam chat for this event. So... Everything's got to be communicated with runners. You got 14th Tennessee pushing up here, trying to inch their way up to these Union guys, but Union's got it in a good spot. They're taking some picket loss here. You can see that through the bars on the top of your screen. Uh, you have 7th LA holding up on this side. Twentieth George, I think, is going to try to do a little sneak and maneuver here. Union starting to inch further back as I mean they're taking a beat in tickets definitely going one way again CSA artillery they got all the way on top of the hill up there and then I think there's another one over here. And First Maryland still keeping up the pressure. They're in a pretty decent spot. There's no real good angle that the Confederates can hit them, right? Anything over here, you can't see the Union. You gotta peek around at the open. And you got these guys here, which can see them, but they gotta kind of peek up. Obviously, these uh, Union guys here just heavily outnumbered. You can just see that as they're slowly dwindling down their forces and Union falling further back to where 4th New Jersey has been located for this whole game. Eighth Connecticut pushing very far forward here, engaging even more. The Union on the left side starting to pull back. You got artillery hitting a little behind where the Union is. Eighth Connecticut is the only group to move forward here, uh, really putting themselves in a pickle. IVB shifting to the road to deal with the uh, 20th Georgia guys who are coming this direction. And it seems the Union's strategy on this map is to be aggressive. So far, not working with the ticket amount. Uh, as we can see, Union's almost down half a stage here, and Confederates not down a whole lot. That makes sense, right? Confederates have, uh, or I guess attackers in general, have the advantage, and 8th Connecticut has fallen back. Downtown, according to the public officer Discord, uh, the attackers have about 24% more tickets than the defending team. 
So, Confederate starting to shift further forward, uh, using these rocks as cover here, gauging kind of point blank with IVB. Confederate's way more spread out than the Union is. And Confederate's actually starting to push up to this right side as well to this church. And Union doesn't want to have them be up here, so they're kind of getting up close and gauging here. I don't know if you can be right here. I don't think you can. I mean, if it's out of bounds for me, it's most likely out of bounds for the players. Holy crap. IVB, now the furthest forward group. You got 8th Connecticut to their left. Let's go look at it over from CSA view. 7th Louisiana, 5th Alabama here. 2nd U.S. Jarve up front. First Louisiana Battalion here. Zuav Battalion, rather. Summit LA is kind of shifting up to this far side. Maybe they can go over here. Oh my god. But. I mean, Union's not. They, they've lost a little ground, but not any significant matter. They've taken a fair amount of tickets. Uh, and this is going great for the Confederates. I wonder if and when the Confederates will decide to charge. It's Connecticut falling back. Union, I think, are starting to return to their more traditional position, slowly giving up ground and eventually going to try to hold on the stone wall. Uh, the issue, obviously, being is that if Union stays in the same place for the whole match, this artillery will get good shots on them, which you can already see that starting to happen. Ten minutes through the round right now. Ten minutes since the round has started. Uh, seven since... Oh, my goodness. I mean, if the uh, infantry won't throw them back. The Union starting to fall back. Most of their team holding up. You got IVB still out front. You have the second U.S. Jarps charging into them right now. And, uh, a couple other guys here. So IVB is going to hold except for maybe some of these trickle-ins. And yeah, Union goes down to a gauge as the Confederates continue pushing forward. Their flag is down. Their flag is down. How do Confederates have a down flag there? Surprised they would keep the flag out for a shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. So uh, let's look at who we got here. So you got first LAB, seven South Carolina. Um, to the right, I mean it's just a mix of groups at this point. Seventh LA is going up again. I don't know if they're trying to get their flag or get shots, but oof, oof. Artillery. All these seventh LA guys are getting destroyed. I mean, I think that's going to be the biggest thing is it's going to be hard for the Confederates to. I don't know. Unions having some great shots in this round. It's going to be hard for Confederates to hit through. The real big thing is going to be artillery. 20th Georgia holding up here, getting some shots. I don't, I don't think they're trying to cap point. Points going down. And IVB is holding up on the road, engaging them. So ticket still going down at a, a pretty good rate. Looks like Confederate respawn starting to move, and I do wonder when the Confederates are going to charge. 
I mean, are they, at this point, they really don't need to, right? Uh, we're almost 15 minutes in the round, and Union's down a morale and a quarter of a stage here. So, I mean, Confederates are doing a good pace. Um, I, do, I do just wonder if they'll charge, though, to kind of keep the pace going. There's girls artillery. So Union forcing the Confederates down to engaged, but I mean Union's halfway through. With the meat cutter, here they go. Confederates inching closer here, uh, hitting these uh, Union guys. They go forward here. Keep shooting! Keep shooting! Keep shooting! Confederates shooting from the back of the road. They're slowly capping point. I don't know if they're trying to or not. You do have Union kind of holding like really far down here again, just trying to avoid to get lost here. No, no. So now, let's see here. I mean, the pace for Confederates is, is great. Meat Cutter just having his guys throw lead the 14th Tennessee here. Oh, <laughs> uh. 14th Tennessee Viking reached out about public reenactment events for NA. It's, I think it's similar to what the EU and reenactment events are, but um, there should be links for that in the War of Rights Discord on non-affiliated, so if anyone's interested in joining that. But Confederates still push forward. You do have a fair amount of groups still kind of holding back. Second U.S. Sharps, 20th Georgia, the 20th Georgia is pushing up. I mean, an artillery shot right here. Come on, artillery. Stay standing, Ford. Stay standing. Do not kneel. Stay standing. Whew. Confederate volley getting a few, like, five or six guys there. Dang. I mean, with this map, it, it's, I mean, it's Confederate bias. I mean... This round has gone very traditional outside of Union pushing forward at the beginning, but like this position here, this is what you historically see. You might see Confederates charge, but I mean, the, <laughs> the, th the thing is, is that Union's just all bunched up into a little area here and Confederate artillery has is going to have a heyday. They have. It's relatively simple for them. I mean, the infantry for Confederates are kind of spreading out nicely. They don't, their ticket don't matter as much. I mean, I guess if we have some time here, I don't think Confederates are going to charge, but uh, we can look at it, what it's like from the view up here. I mean, this is what they see up here. Union had taken losses. 
I mean, you can kind of see those specks running around when your uh, camera is zoomed in. Um, and then if we go to the other artillery position for the Union side here. I mean, this is what they see. Definitely a worse view. Um, where'd that shot go? Actually, I don't know. They, they might be able to hit that through here. But I mean, Confederates, they have so much time, they are content with just sitting and shooting, and I don't really blame them. I feel like I would have felt it, yeah, for sure. Hey, we'll push up. If they charge us, you'll hear me screaming. 14! Go to hell! Prepare to advance! Well, this is an officer you want to follow here. Meat cutter. Are we going to do volleys or are we going to stand by? Stand by to stand by. Confederates pushing up again to these rocks, trying to keep up that pressure. And it's it's 14th, really 14th. You got the first LAB up here as well. Wait for artillery to hit right here. And is the Union pushing forward? First Maryland's running up. I think they're going to go for a quick volley here. Uh, they're taking shots and running back. I mean, at this point in the round, the only way the Union's going to be able to win this game is if they turtle. But Union main spawn is here. Uh, and I think artillery can hit that. I don't know how far Confederates can go, but they would have to turtle if they want to win. But Confederates would wait a while before they want to do that. Some Confederates capping 7th LA is I think 1st Ohio behind me. Uh, they shouldn't cap. I hope they don't cap. 7th LA, you're capping. <laughs> no. Yeah, why are they still capping? If you guys get behind me, you're safe. Yep, 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 we're good. Alright. Hmm. I mean, Union's holding really down here at this death plate, just trying to avoid any ticket loss that's possible. Why did I slide out of bounds here? Oh, Confederates charging. They are indeed second US sharps. Confederate artillery team killing, but. Here comes 14th Tennessee as well. They want to push the break. You can just win the game. <laughs> Union counter charging up the wall. I don't think I want to be here. Oh my God. And Union winning that first wave, but here comes the second wave. Now that Union's out of position, it's a great time for Confederates to hit them. How is that officer still alive? Confederates are capping, uncapping. So not the whole Confederate team charging in. And Union's able to hold that. Confederates actually have pushed up and are taking this Union position. Union countercharging, but they're dying and skirmishing out of line. Uh, it's going to hurt their team here. Obviously, this is still a very hard map for Union to win. 
Union's gonna hit breaking any moment. Confederates could think about pre capping, but I don't know how many guys that got over there. Union, some guys starting to push up the middle of the road here to keep point contested. Yep, Union hit breaking, and Union guys, these three here, uh, decapping four now. Decap, never mind, they're running off to counter charge. <laughs> the Union's actually shifting from spawn going down this way. And Union trying to just push through point to hold it. It's going to be very hard for uh, Union to, to win this. Because, I mean, Confederate's now holding up on top of the hill behind. They probably got a fair amount coming from Main now. And uh, Confederate's using the corner or the little path through the house here to hop on six shots. Oh, looks like they're going to go in now. More Union pulling up from spawn on the bottom road here. There's a lot of Union still on that other side. And 14th Tennessee now coming in here as the rest of CSA pretty much sitting up there shooting. I mean, the match just increases in speed. Confederate's sitting up shooting, but uh, I mean, Confederate's up almost a half, one and a half morale stages right now. This is just, I uh, mean, yeah. Some Confederates coming from Maine, sitting down the road to shoot. Uh, you got a mix of groups here, just holding mostly 4th Jersey, 4th New Jersey and IVB here. Shooting at DSA coming this way, but... Fifth Alabama coming around this right side here. Listen, I have an airplane and it has bombs on it, and I will fly it over your regiment. We can't go. Union going down, most certainly, almost halfway to breaking. They'll probably hold this, but I mean, Confederate's got 20 minutes. Uh, they're very content with sitting and shooting them down, and I don't blame them. Come on, Maryland. How are these dudes popping out that survive? D4 guys kind of shifting around this side here. Four Team Tennessee kind of trying to squeeze through here as well. Holy crap. Confederates kind of winning that out though. I mean, a fair amount. Actually, that's first Maryland. They Connecticut was the one who mostly charged with that. And more Confederates just slipping through the, the little alleyways in these houses. And Union almost down to last stand. Artillery. <laughs> Confederates starting to win up here. Union just slowly getting pushed back on this side. And points still going in favor of, whew, of Union artillery team kill, but they must be on point right there. But Confederates starting to win that top road. Union squeezing up here to prevent them. Is that a team kill? Almost looked like it. Any moment Union is about to hit last stand. Well, 
Good shot. Who is this? There we go. So all the Union guys you see on the field, once they die, they can't spawn back in. Confederates, not even close to their last stage. I mean, this was just straight up domination on the Confederates' part. Union respawns, making it over to the point here. Point starting to be won by Confederates as Union is very much dwindled out over here. Union giving one last hurrah to the point. So this is this is it for now. Confederates kind of charging it behind, so. Oh, oh, oh. Union somehow still winning this out. Yeah, a couple Union guys left, but that is really it for their team. Only a couple Union guys left. You got these guys here and some of you spawn. How is, how is Fat still alive? Fatty. Well, you got three Union guys left and they're, they're over here. Interesting. But yeah, uh, what a one from cover. This kill might end the round. Yankee right here, Yankee. Nope. Oh. Oh no, that was the end of the round. They might have ended the round, but regardless of that, uh, good win for CSA. I mean, downtown bias for them, but you still have to execute, and CSA really just did that from the start. Union played aggressive at the beginning of the round, which, eh, it's a strategy. I haven't seen it before, and I appreciate the attempt at trying something new. Uh, at least from what I've seen, but I mean, downtown's just a very hard map, regardless of what happens. I I don't know if I've seen a turtle attempt on the map. I don't know how effective it would be in terms of CSA trying to get there. But yeah, really good win on part of the Confederates. Uh, but can they win when uh, they have to attack over a, a little old bridge here? Uh, we will see that for round two. I'm very excited to watch Rupert's Crossing. Normally don't get to see that in uh, events. So it's very exciting. And with that being said, we will see you in round number two. All right. Here we are in round number two. Rivers Crossing. I love this map. Mostly because it's a fort-ish style map like Boulevard Heights uh, readout. Uh, one team just has to charge down one or two areas, and I, I really like watching that. So uh, we got up to 280 men server now. Uh, cool to see Confederates have about 11 on artillery. Actually, count that 13. Union having five. We're going to take a look at the artillery position before Confederates really start going across because they start at 42. Um, so you got the third United States horse artillery up on this side, moving the guns, starting to get ready there. Confederates forming up. They can either charge down this pontoon bridge or charge down the railroad there. Um, and then on this front, this is probably some of the last round. You got 7th LA, 19th Georgia, 5th Alabama. Yeah, that's what we got there. And that's obviously it's the same artillery positions that we saw last round. So you know how the battles go, right? We saw that fight last round here. Confederates won and then Confederates decided to leave the town to try to retake it again for the funds. Anyways, Union Artillery is located here. So yeah, uh, this railroad bridge is still here in real life. I'm pretty sure you can't walk on it. I don't remember. I've been to Harper's Ferry once, going again in about a month or so. So that'll be exciting. Confederates really forming up on this right side. Um, I've seen Confederates charge this side more than this side here. Mostly because this side is a little more open. I think it lets their artillery kind of do a little more damage. At least that's my thought. Trying to go through here. It's very tight. Um, 
and a lot of Union guys can shoot from up top here and here. Whereas over here, they can still shoot you from a wide array of areas, except um, you can go down the right, you can go down the middle, there's multiple different ways. Sure, there's artillery, but artillery is overrated in my mind. It doesn't get a lot of kills, right? It might suppress and knock you down, but it doesn't get a lot of kills. Um, so yeah, the Confederates taking a, a hot minute to get going. Here they go. The, my favorite part is the developers used to have barriers on the edge of these bridges so you couldn't fall off, but now they remove most of those barriers because you could die to fall damage and drowning. And so... But artillery hitting at a good time. It didn't look like it got that many kills though. Nope, someone just fell. I wonder how many more people are going to fall off. But, I mean, Union just shredding through the Confederate. Oh, bodies falling off. More falling off. I mean, great shots from the Union side here. Oh, look at them all dropping. And Confederate's actually sending the flags across. That's something I have. Let's see if the flags bounce in the water. Kind of. But wow, Confederates get curb stomped. And you know the crazy part about that too? Is Union just wiped their whole team and look how many tickets the Confederates lost. Not a whole lot. I mean this map really favors the defending uh, defending team in terms of tickets. But what a win on part of the Union. No buildings! You cannot go into buildings! I mean, wherever... Where... But can you go into the outhouse? They're just deaf, they can't hear. So I just make sure but, on this map, the attacking team gets 66% more tickets than the defending team. Which makes a lot of sense. So she went to a show, and so I met her after, and it was her and her friend, and I'm like, oh, hi, good to see you, and I'm like, oh, uh, what was your guys' show you went to? I can't she's like, oh, you know, it was a drag show, I think you would have liked it. Uh, what? And she's like, yeah, you know, and she's like, yeah. Story time here. On the bridge, I mean, Union has time to kill. Of course, we have time to kill as well, right? It's going to take the Confederates four or five minutes to um, get ready. I guess in the meantime, uh, so I've mentioned it numerous times, but if you're new to the channel or just don't know much about War of Rights, so with the three map packs that the War of Rights game has, which is Antietam, South Mountain, and Harper's Ferry, which is where we are at right now, uh, you could see that the whole map is kind of loaded in here, and that's because the developers have basically made each entire map already. It's just all the maps that we currently play with, they have different boundaries and different spawn points. Uh, which is really cool, because like you got Maryland Heights here, uh, we just saw Downtown, which is here. Uh, I think High Street is here. Uh, I think Shenandoah Street is right here, I mean... All these maps are right here. Harpers Ferry Graveyard, Washington Street. Uh, over there is Boulevard Heights, Camp Readout, and Schoolhouse Ridge. So, I mean, it's all here. Uh, and it, it's beautiful. It also just fits very well with the uh, atmosphere of the game, being able to see the whole battlefield and not just a little chunked out area. The, that being said, uh, they haven't released maps in a very long time, and I wish they would cut more areas out of the map. Like, for example, like, right here, there's no fighting that ever occurs here. Imagine if there was, like, a little old point of contention, like, I don't know, somewhere here, and one team spawned here, and they could, like, run across the railroad to try to get the point or that little bridge. I mean, just, I, a lot of unique and ahistorical situations could be made that I think would keep the game fresh. Um, I don't know how hard it hard it'd be to implement for them. Obviously, it takes some time, and obviously, they're focusing on a lot of different things, right? Because the dev developers have given us a, like, a list of things they want to do, but every single update seems to focus on stuff that they have not put on the list. Sure, some things, but not a lot. So there's a lot of things on the developer's plate. So uh, I don't know how time it would take, but I really wish they would do something like that. I think it'd be very cool. 
So Confederates actually are now sitting on the other side and shooting. I, we're 10 minutes into the round. Union's barely taking a hit. 15 seconds are going. Looks like some are going to try to go across the middle. The uh, 7th and 14th Tennessee, 2nd U.S. Sharp as well. But... Um, I, yeah, so looking at strategy in this map, 10 minutes have gone by, Union hasn't gone down a smidge, so Confederates are going to have to win on the point and capture point, I think they'll stop the clock and be competitive in this, or they're going to have to be a lot more effective in the charges going forward, because Union hasn't really taken a hit, you do have some charge, okay. why did four guys go? I'll get Lincoln my goddamn self! Twist is getting risky right there. Oh, Union's on the other side. Oh my goodness, that's so many of them. Please fire. Please fire. All those shots. A lot whizzing over, but a lot hitting as well. Ooh, that was cool. Confederates, only a couple reaching the wall, it's like Pickett's Charge all over again. I mean, look at this trickle in. This is... A lot of that artillery for Confederates sitting behind us. I don't know if they're hitting anything, but... That dude is, this dude is popping off. There he goes. Yeah, Union holding again. Union going down a little ticket spot. We're going to be 15 minutes into this round, and Union's not even going to be dented in tickets, which is absurd. Our, uh, Rivers Crossing, Confederates just have to win charges, and they got to win them effectively. And Union is just doing very well with their shots, so Confederates can't even engage in a melee. For a phone stove, boys. I'm about to go kill. We might see Confederates try to go down the pontoon, but obviously Union has spread themselves out very well. Let's kind of go see where everyone is in the meantime. Uh, you got 1st Maryland up on top. You got 8th Connecticut underneath. 1st uh, Mass up here taking shots. 4th New Jersey here. Um, we also got IVB up here. And some 65th Illinois guys. Yonder. Confederates splitting up into two groups here. You had a fair amount sitting over here last time. I don't think they charged, but they're just taking shots. He's on the boat. Yeah, I mean, these shots, a lot of them aren't hitting. It's just so far, so hard. Hey, artillery, look at that. <laughs> so, I wonder how far the map renders over this way. Maryland Heights, by the way, if you ever go to Harpers Ferry, walk up there. It's It's a hike. Upwards, that's for sure, but holy cow, is it worth it? Okay, it's about halfway. We should head back. Imagine if one team spawned right here, and then the other team spawned on the other end. That that'd just be kind of wild. Oh, there's. A, wait. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, I really want to spawn in. I really want to spawn in right now. Unless. I'm thinking as a confederate player, you can walk all the way over here. And get to the end here. I really think you can. I kind of want to spawn in. For the sake of science, but... You have a couple confederates up here. A couple guys here. Hey, bitch. Hey, look, in the 
shit where you belong. There we go. Yeah, they're all dead. Good job, good job. Nice job, guys. <laughs> good, good work, brother. Yeah, that was pretty good. Wait, tell you guys your friends, friends, friendlies, friendlies, friendlies. I know, I can see you. Blue, blue, blue. Son of a fucking. On two, on two. On two? That was a. Oh. Oh, come on. Look at him just slowly float down. What's gonna happen when he hits the ground? <laughs> it's like physics slowed down. Uh, they're charging across the main bridge as well. The body's falling off. This is probably the furthest they made. A couple of Confederates trickling across the bridge. And you see us get wiped on this side, but. I can't attack right now. I just right we're coming. What is this? Oh, he fit. He just kind of, he just kind of flipped there with there and died. Thank you for removing the barriers. Holy crap! That was a, a funny maneuver there. The interesting part about the hike on Maryland Heights is that it goes like you 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 walk across over here, you walk down the road a ways, and then it's like right over here, like the actual Maryland Heights map. You kind of just walk up here and then walk all the way up, then walk all the way down, and you get there. It's a nice little hike. Don't do it in the middle of the day. Do it in the morning. But, yeah, Confederates almost had engaged. Union halfway through battle ready. Union might not even hit taking losses in this game at this rate. I mean, it's about to be 20 minutes into the round. Almost halfway through it. And... I could not imagine trying to individually place all these bricks here. Alright guys, so like gay son thought that you gotta think of gay son. Alright, well, let's see what the Confederates are thinking here. I agree. Oh! Oh my god! I live! 20th, 7th LA. First, Ohio pushing over here. Shift to the back. Shift to the back. Come on, boys, straighten this up. Well, why are they going across the pontoon alone? I do not know. But they're going. Oh, fuck, dude. I didn't mean to do that to you. Oh, you're still up. Ah, you ain't gonna hit me, bitch! You ain't never gonna hit me, bitch! Yeah, bitch! Hmm. Hey, look, you, 
And right as they go that direction, Confederates pushing on this front now. It's a little disjointed, so it's going to give the Union an opportunity to reform. Again, I mean, just the slow trickling. Confederates going to hit engage. Union might hit engage as well. I might. I mean, they probably are. Good timing on artillery. Union forces moving up with the caissons. It's cover. Yeah, the Confederates had engaged. But that's really it. Union. What are these three guys doing now, too? Because that guy ripped. They're on the boat. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm about to head back. Can you? I assume you'd be able to get on. No, we're out of line. No, what was that? Oh, no! Go. Confederates, I think, just. Uh, it's only four of them. only one who sees Hodor's tag under the bridge. Did you start a team yeah, kill? This probably better. Hmm. <laughs> you do have Confederates sitting here on the bridge. I think we're doing more damage here than the whole line pushes, honestly. Yeah, slow, steady crawl up or something, you know? Southwest independent. Southwest independent. So Confederates holding up on uh, this side here. It's like Union's holding up, and so artillery is uh, going to be able to get some shots here. But I think at this point it's too late for Confederates to really try to push them down to last stand. Shoulder to shoulder. Right. Hi, Magpie. Cab, <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, <laughs> get up to like the two guys that survived. Get the spread, get the spread. Get the cover, get the cover. Right here, right here on me. Take it. Holy crap. Hey, pain in the railroad today. Just because they're still over there we're shooting. Fire team is just pounding right there. I would have not. Oh, I got the flag. But... I mean, Confederates just kind of forming up on this bridge. They, as they said. Not a lot of Union to contest on that far side. Union finally hitting engage almost 25 minutes into the round. I mean, CSA artillery is kind of uh, doing some work here, but Union saw a sizable force uh, charging across the pontoon as well. Nope, you do not let a rebel through. This is ready. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold this with overwhelming odds. Union holding fight on the top. They're starting to breach through, but not a whole lot of them. Union on top of the bridge. They fighter twin, but they don't have a flag. Confederates 
behind. Whoa. This is a POV. Actually, they're still from here. Four from the cubby. Four from the cubby. Maybe we'll jump from here. Four to do the in the cubby. You can save. Can How do they? On the bridge. On the bridge. Oh yeah, they could on, get on there. The yeah, come on, bro. Yo, it's right here. <laughs> uh, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Take me prisoner. Take me prisoner, please. Take me prisoner. Murder his ass. I surrender, boys. I surrender. I'll be your. I'll be your master. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Be quiet, Dan Rebel. I would have took it in prisoner. Regardless. You shouldn't put us here. We're gonna get blown out. Go, boys. Get up fire. Wait for it. No, we're gonna get blown out. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. All right. Wait until they get closer. Eight yeah, we need to wait for them to kill all those uh, Marylands and... Yeah. Back up a little bit, Mike. Oh, yeah, don't say it in game, my fault, my fault. My cap, break the wood, it's back! And here we go again. Woo! Straight, boys, go straight, go straight, that already just fucked him up. Alligator tax is just... Oh, shit, keep going! Wow, oh, this looks like the best charge you might see from the Confederates today. Despite that, <sighs> despite that, Union's still holding. And honestly, the rate of tickets for the Union side is going down by a fair amount. to go holy they're really just timing those up trying to get good shots and here goes 7th and 14th Tennessee again damn right that said do not die with not even a bit I'm about to smack him in the butt fuck yeah getting getting reloads at the end of the bridge but they can't hit me Please. Oh, I thought he'd fall off. They volleyed? Well, they're charging on both sides again. The fighter is still getting a good chance here. The trash talk can be a thing of beauty in this game. More Confederates trickling in. They're going to hit take the boss with 15 minutes left. And so, Confederates are just kind of keeping their flags in here, getting respawns, and then going and hitting again. And interesting, I wonder if anyone's fallen off on, uh, on accident. 
you definitely can. I mean, you got. Steady's his bat, ripping it with white red batting gloves. What the heck? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Confederates, I don't know. A couple guys going forward, but what the heck? Yes, I'm going to go green and Please help me. Motherfucker. I'll be into the middle of the bridge. Take aim when you get here. Take aim down the bridge. Stay. Is it illegal for me to take down the bridge? No, you're perfectly fine. I actually I don't know the rules, but this is funny. Please hit him. Come get it, buddy. Oh, that's kind of cool. Someone just fell. Holy shit! Is uh, is our boy in blue? No. The Confederates look like they're gonna go down the pontoon bridge again. Union artillery hitting them though. Pretty much splitting off their force, if any. Perfect fucking artist shot. Push, 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 push. Oh, well, here come some more guys. They're gonna try to hit this side, but. I'm back, boys, to give you the steal. Let's go! And they're getting a full hold, but again, they don't have a flag. I don't know whose artillery that was, their own, but. Knocked a bunch of them down. Confederates hitting that side as well. Union actually gonna hit taking losses. There you go, new good shit. All the way up here. Couple Confederates still holding over here, but I mean they don't have a flag. Oh. Ten and a half minutes left. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, someone's getting complaints. Steam overlay, we love steam overlay. No, Coffin! So a little more than nine minutes. Confederates are going to have to win a charge. They haven't done that all day. I'd be surprised. They, they've they been getting better as the game's gone on. But a little too, a little too late. I mean, their pace has been okay for the engaged state. Oh. Into the breach. Go, 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 go. I'm going in, Danny. I'll see you on the other side. Get Soldier, get up. No, leaving. Yeah, Confederate Company gets through, but I mean, Union is just completely surrounding this whole area here. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be very hard for them to break through. Union had taken losses though, which is surprising. So the pace has definitely improved from the Confederates' point of view. So Union running up, just taking some shots, falling back. And here comes the Union again. Seven minutes left. And it looks like the fighter's again going on this front. It looks like they might have charged on this side as well, but to not to much success. Ready. Yeah, yeah, here they go again. Oh, oh! I thought they'd do more. Six minutes left here for CSA. Union actually kind of pushing out onto the pontoon bridge here. The slow ragdoll of a soldier. Get your reloads, get these guys behind us. In a bit of fire, gun pop has line up in the fire. Shoot them, rebel traitors running. Shoot them. Whew, Union artillery getting another hit. I did not expect that shot. So, I mean, we're really, I mean, we're really just, the clock is ticking. Confederates haven't won a charge. They still haven't won a charge. They won't win a charge, I don't think. I'd be very surprised. Like everything would have to go right and more. Steady, right side. Target that flag. Fire. Back to the house, boys. Back to the house. Let's go. Let's go. You know what are they talking about over here? 
fourth, uh, sorry, 14th and 7th Tennessee over here now, so Confederates seem to have given up on that pontoon, or at least one group has. Please fall through. Oh, I thought you'd fall through. Oh, they're actually holding out on the edge trying to take shots, but I mean, Union shooting from a larger area. <laughs> Union shooting from a wide area into a tiny area, it's going to be very hard. Uh, for CSA to hold there for a while. Why is that out of bounds? They're in the shitter. About face, about face, back to the house, back to the house, back, back, back. And more Confederates trickling in here. They might hit breaking themselves. Actually, Confederate's gonna go across the pontoon bridge again. He's the Confederate last time. Let's grip walk Same and march charging, boys. Come on, Jester. This is the last time. This is our final charge. Holy crap! Who's up on top? I don't know. These guys here, really good shots. 8th Connecticut up, up top, 4th New Jersey on the bottom. But holy crap, that volley wiped the CSA uh, initial push. Here comes the back half of it. Confederate's going to hit breaking here. Three minutes left. Union starting to counter charge. Other uh, spawn might as well. And yeah, I mean, Union didn't win this. You can see the body play went off. A little under two minutes now. Uh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. hold right here. Shoot down let's into him. Go, Don't let him pass. They shall not pass. Hold here. Clog it up. Independent fire now. I right, push down, boys. Push down. Let's go. Uh, Union's gonna keep going. A minute and a half left. <laughs> Union's gonna keep going. I don't know how close it is, but here come Confederate respawns. Yeah, Union win there. Union pushing across the bridge, but 45 seconds left. Union counter charging across the pontoon as well. It's fourth New Jersey. Yeah, these Confederates are just trying to go on a point, so Union kind of winning there. More Confederate spawns move in. Am I hearing for Frodo? Is this some black gate stuff? 
Oh, I've been God. watching uh, oh, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings God. recently. Getting, really getting back to that. Oh, that's funny. Gondor calls for aid. But anyways, um, yeah, that, that, I mean, that was just straight up domination from the Union's part. Uh, CSA artillery did good, but um, it, I mean, it's just very hard to, to push on a map, especially with the ever-increasing server population that we have here in War of Rights. So uh, two maps pretty much went as expected tonight, but it was still great and fun to watch. I appreciate Ghost of Antietam for letting me broadcast. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to support the channel more in the description, uh, you can join the Discord, check out our merch, and support us on Patreon where we can get live broadcasts of everything we do. Advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay with no commentary and UI uh, footage of our events. But nonetheless, we appreciate you watching. It means the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.